all right welcome back in the previous video we have seen how to update the data into the fields of rpa challenge website and also we have created a module for launching browser xaml as well in this video we will see the re template uh, in depth so if we see over here the general pro business process template is created by re framework for us so in this one if i get into this initialization state you could see over here the lot of workflow written for us to read the data and handle other uh, activities as well like exception handling killing process etc do not worry about anything just like uh, because everything is uh, handled by the ori framework we will see how it reads the data and how we can integrate our model with that so if we click on uh, first run so there is a init all settings workflow in init all workflow what it does it will read all the data from the config file you can see the workflow as well open workflow by clicking on open workflow you can see all the workflow written over here okay so once it's read all the data it holds it in a arguments called out config so what are arguments arguments are nothing but kind of variables which holds the data and which can be passed uh, between the uh, work workflows but if you consider variables variable also holds the data but it which can be passed between the activities different activities that is the difference see here we have uh, considered the arguments because it has to be passed between the different workflows because we have created different modules so between the modules we need to pass these values so we have used the arguments over here so there is certain naming conventions and uh, the direction as well need to specify one thing is direction so direction over here in in and out in means as a input to the workflow i mean data flow is into the workflow and out is nothing but uh, output of that activity or out data flow is out from the workflow so once it read data from the config file it holds all the data in a uh, out config variable which is having data type called dictionary which is nothing but a key uh, key value pair okay so once it read data and holds it in out config that argument can be passed between the workflows so let us see where we can integrate our model so this is the initialization state so here we have all the data i mean config related data over here so i'll just drag and drop this workflow over here so this is launching browser workflow so as we see launching browser workflow uh, it will launch the browser and download the data file from the website and save it in a specific location okay so once that is done and one more thing is this is right now independent of any activity any other workflows so we have hard coded all the values all the values in the sense like we can dynamically pass one thing that is this website url so what we can do is this website url we can place it in uh, config file and from there we can use it so let uh, let us see all these things in the coming video but first we will see uh, just validate this file first after integrating so that's fine it's no error so once this is done just let me run i am using the run method since we need to run the whole process click on run started we should launch the browser first once that launch the browser it will download the uh input file perfect yes that is done so robot has executed successfully so in the coming videos we will see how to uh, read the data from config file for this url specification and etc thank you thank you for watching this video